Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did this eye makeup look right here. Just did this blue eye makeup look because I haven't seen any blue eyeshadow looks out there on the internet. So here is my contribution. If you're interested in how I achieved this look and you want to learn, then please keep on watching. All right, so I've done one eye off camera, as you can see just so I could teach you guys how I did that. I'm not going to be priming my eyes for this. I'm just using a liquid lipstick. This is the NYX Liquid Suede. It is in the color Little Denim Dress. So this is going to help the blue color pop more and also the shadow will stick to it. So it will also act as a primer. So I actually took this color all the way out. I'm just taking the applicator on the actual lipstick and I'm sort of putting it in the spot that I want to blend it out into so not too much in the front and then I'm going all the way up because once I put that black on the top of it in this side it sort of looks more navy So that's the general shape I'm going for. And then I'm just taking a concealer buffer brush and I'm just gently blending that out. And I've also left this inner corner for a highlight later on. I also decided to do the eyes first because I'm going to need to clean some of the edges up. So I'm just focusing on blending out the edges and then packing the color on <clears throat> onto the lid. I'm just going to clean this up. And then you're left with this. Next I'm going in with a Colourpop Single Shadow. This is in the shade Lost and Found. And I'm just taking a flat packing brush and I'm putting this everywhere that I put that blue color. Now you'll notice it changes the color a tiny bit but this shadow alone doesn't give the same effect. So I think the liquid lip or a gel liner of some sort will be necessary as a base for the blue to really pop. I think I've gone a little bit too high on this eye, so I'm just going to wipe off a little bit from the top. I'm going to go back into that flat brush and then packing a little bit more on, but also blending the crease. That's pretty much all for the blue. And I'm going to take this Morphe M33 brush. It's just a really fluffy one. I'm going to use black shadow just using the one from my Prism palette. So and I'm just going to start building up the crease. So I'm going to focus most of this colour on the outer corner. And then also bring it into the crease. So as you can see, the more I blend that out, it turns a navy colour. And I haven't picked up any more shadow, just going from what's left on the brush once I get more into the crease and towards the front. That's going to give a nice gradient effect. Just dipping back into the black, then I'm also bringing it onto the lid up to about a third, I would say. So this outer corner is where you want the colour to be mostly concentrated on. Or I should say the deepness. If you have hooded eyes, it's really useful to do your eye makeup with your eyes open or semi-open. Because then you can see how it will look once your eyes are open. Alright, so after about 10 hours of blending, literally just doing this, you should get something like that. 
and it's not going to look complete until you put a lash on or like a mascara or whatever because it's quite a bold eye makeup look anyway i'm just going to go put on mascara and i'll be back to finish my face okay so the eyes are all done the glue on this lash is still drying so that's why it's still a little white so moving on to the face i'm using my hangover primer and I'm going to be using my NARS She Glow Foundation. For concealer, I'm going in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Let's blend that in. Then I'm just going to set my under eyes and my T-zone with my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. For bronzer, I'm going to use this Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer. Then I'm going to go into my NARS Board board de plage i believe is how you pronounce it and i'm gonna use these two right here Now I'm just going to dust off under my eyes and then for blush I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient and I'm taking a mixture of these two colours for the blush. I'm going to take the same brush that I used for dusting off my under eye powder and I'm going to take this white powder here and I'm going to put it under my eyes as well as onto the cheeks it just gives like a really nice glow I don't even want to say glow it just reflects light then with my fan brush I'm going into the same NARS board de plage palette and I'm using this uh, white shimmery highlight for my cheekbone Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush like this into that same highlight and this is going in the inner corners. Make sure to blend it into the blue colour. I'm just going to put that colour right under the brow bone. Going back to that blue colour, Lost and Found from Colourpop. And then I'm taking this pencil brush. I'm going to put this colour... This is just going on the lower lash line. And just far enough to connect it to that inner corner highlight. And then still using the same brush, going back into the black. And putting this just on the outer corner. Until I meet the blue. Going back into that blending brush we used on the top and I'm not putting any product on it, I'm just running it on the lower lash line. To finish off the lower lashes I'm just going to use some Roller Lash by Benefit. Now I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Right, so for the lips, I'm going in with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade London. I'm also filling them in with the same lip liner. Now I'm going in with this Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Hot Toddy. So here is the finished look. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel down below. Also let me do it, let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.